Welcome to this week's edition of the Friday Gridiron Preview. This week we will feature the Hugoted Eagles as they travel to Hoakland to take on the Longhorns. This week's edition brought to you by these fine sponsors. Be the exception, be exceptional. Save 50% on Gucci designer eyewear while supplies last. Only at Jury, Ferrar and Associates in Liberal. Enhance the atmosphere of every room in your home with this sofa love seat combination for only $599.99 when you shop the selection at Flooring America and Furniture Outlet in Liberal. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Friday Gridiron Preview here on TV 23. I'm Chris Jewell, standing in for our good friend, Dr. Jack. I am joined by the Hugoton Eagles head football coach, Todd Fulton. How are you today, coach? Doing good, doing good. How's things going this year? Now, last time we talked to you, you were getting ready to play Ulysses, and you went up there and got that job done by one point. Yeah, that, that was you know a good omen for us, hopefully, that this will carry through. But we're doing well. Uh, we're 5-3, and three, uh, achieved a winning uh, season last Friday night. I think that's our first winning season since my first year here. So uh, uh, that's a big goal to check off. And we have another one uh, this Friday that, you know, in our sights, uh, going and play Holcomb, and who's a big rivalry for us, not only in football, but basketball. But uh, we are really excited that we have that opportunity that it becomes a, a winner take all game. And we're excited about that. Yeah, this is for the second spot, the last spot left in the districts in 4A2, right? Yes, it is. Uh, they come in at one and one, and we're one and one. We both have uh, took a loss against Pratt, and so it comes down to this game. And you know, we like our chances, and and you like being able to uh, have your own destiny in your hand. Well, now this game, you match up pretty well with Holcomb. I mean, you guys both pass the ball a lot. You both run the ball a lot. Your defenses are both pretty stout. So, I mean, this is going to be a fairly close game, isn't it? It's going to be a mirror image of, of the teams out there. We both play a, a variation before four look, and we both uh, do some spread stuff and run a lot of the same types of formations. And that way, uh, scouting has been a little bit easier. When you watch film, you have an idea of what you want to call the formation and the play. And so you, you can spend more time getting your game plan ready than having to try to figure out what you're going to call what the other team does. Now, looking at a statistics aspect of things, now you guys have done – a fairly good job this season you know even though you are five and three let's see you lost to Colby only by three points you lost to Scott City which is always stout and then you only lost to Pratt by what three points and then that's and Pratt also beat Holcomb so you know there's some commonality in your schedules and and the type of teams you've played yeah and you know we we had a couple games we let slip away and so we really worked hard on that and you know we're we're really kind of a balanced team we ran for over 1100 yards we've thrown for over 1700 yards and you know we we like to mix it up and, and those types of things and so like I say we're, we're excited about the opportunity that we have on Friday night to go out there and and play for a a district playoff spot. Well, what do you think is going to be the biggest challenge once you get to Holcomb and face the Longhorns? I, I just think going out and, and playing confidence, we got to take care of the ball. You know, I read an article this morning that teams that are winning at the at the top level, NCAA level, you know, they're the teams that win the turnover uh, game. And, you know, we have to have a positive uh, margin there and you know we just have to go out and do the things that we do well and play aggressive and play with confidence and you know one of our goals is that we expect to win and we've really been focusing on that and that's how we're going to approach this week of practice and that's what we're going to do on Friday night. Well now one thing is now how do you think you know Trey Gilbert their quarterback now he's thrown for 1400 yards so far this season now what do you what do you think you're going to have to do to kind of shut him down because he can also take off and run the ball yeah i mean he's uh like our quarterback uh in and tino he he likes to throw the ball he likes to run the ball you know i think you know we just have to have our scheme set and make sure that everybody does their job and, and makes the plays they're supposed to make and, and if that happens we'll be okay so how are you going to approach you know they've got some big guys up front dylan williams he has got 60 some solo tackles so far 70 some solo tackles so far this year i mean what are you going to have to do to contain that big guy up front 
Well, I, like I said earlier, you know, we just have to uh, understand our responsibilities and, and make the plays that we're supposed to make. If we're supposed to block him uh, with one guy, then that one guy needs to do that. If we're supposed to block him with two, then those two guys need to do that. And we can't go out there and try to do more than we're capable of doing. We just need to do what we can do, and, and good things will happen. All right. Well, I know you brought in three of your seniors here that we didn't talk to last time, but that's okay. We're, you brought in the big guys that are down in the dirt. I'm thinking this time, didn't you? Uh, yes. Uh, we have Romano Berger. He plays defensive end for us, and he's also our fullback when we run with a fullback on offense. Okay. Romano, step right up here. Get close. You don't have to be afraid of us. So are you a senior this year, Romano? Yes, sir. All right. So you are the defensive end. You've got the contain on the outside, right? Yes, sir. All right. So how many tackles? It says you have what? How many tackles do you have this year? 45. 45. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not as much as I wanted, but it's getting up there. <laughs> that's pretty fair. Okay, so which do you like? Now, Coach said you get to be the fullback when, when you're into that set. Which do you like better, tackling guys or running over guys? Um, I love to hit, but I prefer tackling. But running the ball is always fun. <laughs> Okay, but w being the fullback, though, you probably have to get out there and lead block also, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so you get to hit guys then, too. Yeah, it's just always hidden for me. Okay, so what has been one of the big factors so far? What has been one of the highlights for you this year? As Coach said, you know, you got a winning season. You're 5-3. and three, Big game coming up, you know, on Friday night against Holcomb. Uh, just being part of the team and, you know, being one of the leaders on the team, Seeing those guys playing with those guys every game, it's just it's just all coming together, and it's kind of sad that it you know it's my senior year, so you just got to go out with the bang. This game means a lot, doesn't it? It does, and I mean we've lost to these guys in middle school, and that was a tough time. So we're just trying to get back at them. We want to win. You've had enough of that orange and black. Yeah, we've had enough of them. <laughs> okay, good luck to you on Friday night. Who else have you brought in today, Coach? Ryan uh, plays uh, defensive tackle for us. Oh, you're another one of them big guys that's down in the dirt, aren't you? Yes, sir, I am. <laughs> How do you like playing, you know, defensive tackle right there in the middle? Oh, sir, I just love getting out there with my guys and showing them what we're made of. That's pretty much it. So what's the best part of being the defensive tackle? Just getting down there and getting hit and hitting them back, sir. You like to hit them? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. So, and so far this year, you've, what, 45 tackles? Um, no, sir. No, 21. Yes, sir, so far. Okay, I read the wrong line. See, I need notes on this stuff. I'm old, Brian. Brian missed mm -hmm. one yes, game this year with a concussion, so he's come back strong last week, and he's pretty excited about it. You ready for Holcomb? Yes, sir, I am. You ready to get to Holcomb and, and get on that field? Yes, sir, I'm ready to show what Houston, Kansas is all about to the whole state. All right, so you're senior this year also. As you look back on your career, what's one of the big highlights of this year for you? I'm just going out there and all of overall – just being with the guys and just showing Kansas what we're all about, honestly. All right, so you're going to be down in the four-point stance come Friday night? Yes, sir, I am. All right, are you going to look across to the guy in front of you? Now, do you line up over the center or one of the guards? One of the guards, sir. All right, so you're going to get down there, and you're going to look him right in the eye and go, your head is coming right off. Yes, sir, I will. Okay, <laughs> all right. All right, every play, right? Yeah, that's what Zach over there, every play? Yes, sir, I am. All right, good luck to you tonight. Good talk to you. Thanks, Brian. Who you got next, Coach? Brian is a National Guard member. He spent uh, his summer at boot camp, so he'll probably want to take somebody's head off. All right, that makes – wow. All right, now this – He plays a uh, tight end and defensive end for us. And for us, a tight end also a wide out. Do you play basketball too? Yeah, I play basketball. I couldn't tell. See, what are you, what are you doing with this? But you're much taller than these guys. I know. I know they're shrubs. Shrubs. Yeah, but I think Bri I would not get Brian mad at you. I don't think. <laughs> no. Okay, Zach. So you're a senior this year also. All right. So playing tight end. You know what? What? Usually when you hit the field and being the tight end, depending on what play is called or whatever, what are you looking forward to the most? Well, um, on pass plays, I'm looking to just get open and hopefully. Uh, do the big thing and score a touchdown. And if it's a run play, I'm trying to block my right guy to the whistle. Blocking the right guy is important. Now you have what, 26 receptions this year? Yes, that's right. What's the, what's the longest reception you've had? I think 73. 73. 73 yards, yeah. 
did when you got to the end zone did you turn and give the ball to the referee or did you want to go crazy i just i just turned and gave it to the referee you wanted to go crazy though didn't you yeah i was pretty tired though <laughs> Coach, you're not working enough if he ran 73 yards and was tired. <laughs> okay, so, Zach, looking on back on your four, four years of playing football, what is your biggest memory that you're going to take away, especially of this game against the rivals in Holcomb? Well, uh, this year beating Ulysses was a good memory, but I don't want that to be the highlight of my senior year football season. Uh, this Friday could be my last football game as an Eagle ever. And um, I don't want that to happen. So I think this Friday is important to me because um, it's a chance to advance. You guys have really got on. You're, they're locked in, Coach. You can tell these guys want to get to Holcomb. And they'd play tonight if they could, I'm thinking, wouldn't they? Probably so. All right, Zach, thanks for coming by. All right, Coach, let's wrap up and talk about a little bit about Holcomb. Now, is this the first time where you've gotten into you have a chance to get into the districts? Uh, no, last year we played Holcomb for the district championship and, and lost. And so they went in as district champs and we went in as a second uh, team out of our district. And so this year it's really the same thing. This game comes down to, you know, winner take all. The, the, the winner advances to the next round and the loser uh, uh, is done for the season. So, you know, we're really focused and we want to take care of business. And, and, and that's been our goal all year to get back into the playoffs. Now, you want to play spoiler, big, big, and I know these three guys do, on Friday night because if you beat Hol you go up to Holcomb and beat them, they will not be able to defend their state championship, will they? No, no, they won't, you know, and, and I'm not looking at it as a spoiler thing. We have approached every game this year that we expect to win, and we expect to win on Friday, and, and that's the bottom line. We, we don't approach a, a game as saying, hey, we're an underdog. Uh, we are changing the culture, and we just believe that when we go in on the field, we expect to win. All right. I know when I mentioned, though, that uh, Holcomb wouldn't get to, to uh, defend their championship, your three guys over here are going, oh, that's right. Yeah, th <laughs> they, they know that. So. All right. Coach, good luck on Friday night. We'll be watching the game, and good luck. Thank you very much for coming. All right. Thanks, guys, to you, too. And we'll be back with more after this. Hi, Chris Jewell, host of High Plains Today a 30-minute news and information program that airs weekdays at noon right here on TV 23. We talk about news, we talk about sports, we talk about weather, we're even gonna talk entertainment. We'll have live guests right here on set with me. So, every day at noon, tune in High Plains Today. We'll see you then. Weekdays here on TV 23. Welcome to this week's edition of the Friday Gridiron Preview. This week we will feature the Huguenot Eagles as they travel to Holcomb to take on the Longhorns. This week's edition brought to you by these fine sponsors. Be the exception, be exceptional. Save 50% on Gucci designer eyewear while supplies last. Only at Jury, Farrar and Associates in Liberal. Enhance the atmosphere of every room in your home with this sofa love seat combination for only $599.99 when you shop the selection at Flooring America and Furniture Outlet in Liberal. And welcome back to Friday Gridiron Preview. We are now in Holcomb, America, and I'm joined by Coach Kent Teeter. He is the head football coach for the Holcomb Longhorns. Thanks for taking the time today, Coach. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to come to Holcomb. Well, you know, it's not every day I come to Holcomb, but it's not a bad drive. <laughs> not, a, not at all. It's a really nice place to be. Oh, yeah. You just come to Garden City, turn left. That's right. <laughs> uh, people ask where Holcomb's at, and we say it's right next to Garden. So most people understand Garden a little bit more from Holcomb. So unless you're a history person, then you understand a little bit of history about Holcomb. So There you go. It's a cool place. All right. So coming up Friday night, you've got kind of somewhat of a rivalry game coming up with, against the Hugoton Eagles. It's a huge game. It's not only a rivalry game. And one, that's part of our thing on the scouting report was, hey, we're playing Holcomb. That's reason enough to play the game. It's because it's, uh, it's Holcomb and Hugoton. I mean, and, and so uh, it's just going to be a great game. But the second thing is it's for a playoff spot. And so, and right now we're undefeated in the uh, conference play, and, and this is going to be our last conference game. And so it's a, it's a big game for us. Yeah, the, now the winner of this game is going to decide the second spot in the yeah. district. Yes, yeah, yep. Winner of this uh, continues on. The loser of it packs in their gear. And so uh, it's a huge game. 
you have a little motivation going on since you're you want to uh, defend your state championship from last year without a doubt you know our motto was uh, WAR win advance and repeat and so uh, we're at the advanced stage right now you know we won some games earlier in the year and now we're advancing through the districts and and hopefully through the playoffs so it's it's big it's one of our goals at the beginning of the year was to uh, repeat a state champion so we got to you know we got to take care of business to even make it to the playoffs this week so it's a big one you're getting ready to cinch him up with them then right There's no doubt <laughs> okay so but you know you look at both teams you know Hugoton and Holcomb you kind of mirror each other as far as total yards per game what kind of running attack and you know they may pass a little more than you but you run the ball a little more than, than they do but as far as total games total yards per game you're both pretty close yeah it is and you know you look at some of the common opponents that we played and those those have been some similar games as well but uh, they have we're both a spread offensive team and and we threw the ball a little bit more last year this year we're running a little bit more defensively we both run a four-man front and so they have good returns so do we so you look at us and and uh, it is it's it's two similar teams and both teams are going to play hard Friday night I know that as well okay so let's look at some of the keys to the game I mean one of the big things is you're going to have to slow their quarterback down Tino Del Degolado I knew I was going to mess that up but that's always a tough one for me I apologize Tino but I mean, that's going to be one of the big things you're going to have to do, isn't it? Without doubt, we had, that was last year's part of last year's game plan. He throws well, he throws the ball well. He runs well. He's a dual threat quarterback. He's got some guys to throw it to. They got a running back that runs well too, and so. He's a huge part of their offense, but there's other guys to complement him as well. But we got to take care of him first. There's there's no doubt. He's a great player, so we'll key on him. And looking on the defensive side of the ball, they got a big guy, Pedro Ordonez, that plays linebacker, and he leads the team in tackles. I mean, what are you going to do to fend him off? Well, sometimes you have to run away from him. So, <laughs> But, no, you know, our offensive line has played really well, and so I, I'm, I'm excited for the matchup because I do feel like our offensive line has played well, and, and defensively we played really well you know, all year long as well too. So it's going to be a great game. I, yeah, I may have to drive back up to Holcomb on Friday night just to watch. We hope you do and bring some people with you. <laughs> I do, we'll bring a camera. Okay. All right, let's meet you. Now, you brought three of your seniors in here that we're going to talk to. Let's meet them. Who are you going to bring in first? All right, Brandon Stegman. All three of them are all-state players from last year, and this is Brandon Stegman that plays running back, receiver, uh, free safety. He's a return guy, so he's an all-purpose player here. Brandon, you do everything but kick the ball? That's right. I try my best to be my best at every position. Okay, so what is one of your motivating factors for Friday night? You know, you're taking on Hugoton, big rival. You know, you guys are big rivals in football as well as basketball. So what's your big motivating factor on Friday night? Well, motivation for this game is definitely going to come from uh, our recent loss to Pratt. Uh, that was a good game, disappointing loss, but we, we can't lose or we're done. So definitely motivation comes from our recent loss and winner gets to go on t through the playoffs. All right, so let me ask you now, you're a senior, you've been playing football for four years here at Holcomb High. What's one of the highlights you're going to take away from your four years here at Holcomb playing football? Well, of course, my, my biggest highlight would be my state championship last year. But besides that, I would have to say uh, bonding with my teammates and really becoming close, great friends and even family. All right. Well, good luck on Friday night. Coach, who you got next for me here? We have Connor Van Cleve here. Connor Van Cleves is an all-state tight end and defensive end, and a lot of people know him through baseball and basketball as well, along with, you know, Brandon. And so uh, uh, a second all-state player. All right. Connor, now let me ask you. Now, scoot you in here a little bit. I don't smell yet. Um, now let me ask you. You're a tall guy. You're like Zach Leninger from Hugoton. Now, are you going to be lining up across from him? Uh, yeah, both ways. Uh, offensively, uh, I'll be seeing him if he's on the defensive side. He's been playing a little bit of defensive end, uh, but on the whenever he's on offense, uh, he'll be lined up down in the tight end position a little bit. Yeah, we'll play against each other. We've played against each other the last four years, so I think it'll be a good uh, competition against each other. Play against him in basketball, too? Yeah, that's <laughs> who I get to guard every game whenever we play him. So. I was going to say, are you doing a lot of this against him? A little bit. We, we're very competitive, so we, we, we don't like to lose, and we, we try to get whatever's best for us to win the game. So. Okay, so, and I asked Brandon, I'm going to ask you, what is your big motivation, you know, for Friday night? Um, you know, it's, like you said, it's our last, it could be our last game. It's playoff football. Uh, we have to win to be able to uh, advance. Uh, this, I know this is senior night, and it's a big night for all of us seniors. I just want to go out there and 
uh, give everything I got and hopefully help out the team to the best ability that I have. Brandon was talking about being a family. That's one of the things that he's going to take away from his four years. What about you? That's a big thing for me. Uh, family is a thing I've always been taught around my whole life, not just from my family, but also from uh, the community. Family is a big thing here, always have been. Uh, but like you said, the state championship was really fun to be a part of. Uh, I would like to make another big run this year. It would be great to be a part of that with this group of players on the team. All right. Connor, thanks. Good luck on Friday night. All right, Coach. Last but not least, right? This is now. This is this is the guy who does a lot of hard hitting and tackling for you, right? Yeah, he scares me sometimes. Well, all three of them do. But this is Dylan Williams. He plays running back and, and middle linebacker, and and Dylan leads our team in tackles. But he was also the 4A Division II Defensive Player of the Year last year. So he's he's had quite a career. Really? Look at you coming in here, not really wanting to do it. Now get over here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not that close, Dylan. <laughs> You're in my space. No, I'm kidding. All right, so Dylan, you lead the team in tackles. You have, what, 94 tackles this yes, year? Sir. Yes, sir. All right, and you play inside linebacker. Yes, sir. All right, so, and once in a while, now, you'll play on the offensive side a little bit too, right? Yeah, I play running back as well. Which do you like better? Linebacker. <laughs> I like I like hitting guys, not taking hits, so that's why I like playing linebacker better. Okay, I see. I got that. All right, so... Looking back on your last four years, I mean, well, no, let's talk about Friday night. What What is your biggest motivating factor for Friday night? Um, definitely the winner go home factor. Um, if you lose, then put all the pads up and the season's over. And if you win, you get advanced. So um, that's probably my motivation for me is I don't want to be done yet. I'm senior year. I'm not really, it really hasn't hit me yet that it's going to be my last year playing football at Holcomb High School, so I definitely want to continue the run, and that's my big motivation for Friday night. None of you guys are done being Longhorns yet, are you? No, no, we still got sports down the road, but definitely don't want to end the football season on a, lo or a loss at home on senior night, so. All right, well, it's senior night coming up. What are you going to take away from this season at Holcomb High? Um, it's, been a, it's been a great season so far, and I know that we can do a lot better, and it will continue to be great, but I'm taking a lot, um, been bonding a lot with the younger guys. There's a lot of younger guys that, um, have stepped up and it was really cool this year getting to teach them and show them the ropes kind of since we've been here for four years and getting into that leader role it has been something that I've, I've really appreciated so all right good for you all right and plans after this year um, I want to attend college and play football somewhere I don't know exactly where yet but uh, that's definitely my plan is to attend college play football and then graduate so all right, keep us posted on what you three end up doing after this year. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, Dylan, thanks. Coach, come on back in here. Let's wrap this up. Um, you know, this game, like you said, and you've got three pretty good guys. Oh, they're awesome guys. Like You couldn't ask for three better guys, there's no doubt. So we count on them a lot. Sounds like, you know, and Dylan's talking about how he's helping lead the younger players and those types of things. I mean, it sounds like he got three pretty good leaders in this team, as, and I'm sure there's many more. Yeah, there are, but th th these were three of our captains that were elected by our team. They had to stand up in front of the team and, and talk about why they wanted to be captains, and, and they did, and they were chosen to be captains by our team, and, and that shows you what type of people they are. They're well-respected, and, and they, uh, they're awesome with the younger guys. They have definitely shown them the ropes, there's no doubt. All right, Coach, thanks for taking the time today. Thank you. Good luck against Hugoton. All right, and I'll be back with more to wrap this up right after this. Hi, I'm Chris Jewell, host of High Plains Today, a 30-minute news and information program that airs at noon weekdays right here on TV23. Hey, do you think you have an idea for something that would make a great segment? Somebody that would make a great interview? What about a community event that needs highlighting? Let us know here at the station, email us, news at kdgltv.com. Welcome to this week's edition of the Friday Gridiron Preview. This week we will feature the Huguenot Eagles as they travel to Holcomb to take on the Longhorns. This week's edition brought to you by these fine sponsors. Be the exception, be exceptional. Save 50% on Gucci designer eyewear while supplies last. Only at Jury, Ferrar and Associates in Liberal. Enhance the atmosphere of every room in your home with this sofa love seat combination for only $599.99 when you shop the selection at Flooring America and Furniture Outlet in Liberal. Welcome back to Friday 
Gridiron Preview. You know, my good friend Dr. Jack isn't here this week, but even if he was, I would not pick a winner in this game between the Hugoton Eagles and the Holcomb Longhorns. I do want to thank Coach Fulton and Coach Teeter for both taking the time to talk with us about this game. You know what? I'm not going to pick a winner. No way I can pick a winner. Both these teams are too closely matched as far as offense, yards per game, as well as their defenses. I would suggest if you're in the Holcomb area on Friday night, you need to come out here and watch this game. I think it's going to be one of the better games in the state. Now, remember, you can watch Friday Gridiron Preview again on our Facebook page, which is KDGL TV and all of our reruns of our shows, as well as High Plains Today daily, Monday through Friday. Go out and make it a good Friday, everybody, and we'll see you next week.